Good morning. I just woke up and originally the plan was to go at 4 a.m. but then I slept at 2 and then we woke up at almost 7 or 6. For today's adventure, we are gonna go to this place called Obong Spring in Dalaget. So this is going to be my very first provincial road trip with uh, my brother and his friends and we're gonna go out there later and see if how is it gonna be for me not excited <laughs> probably it's more of like me thinking if it'll be an easy ride for me since we're doing it in the morning i would expect that there will be a lot of buses vehicles later on while we drive going to the place um hopefully it won't rain <laughs> Oh, and hopefully, di siya magulan. I just checked right now in, on Google. It's around 75 kilometers going there from here. That is going to be the farthest place that I will be going to. And it's happening today. I'm gonna bring you with me. I'm gonna put my SJ cam on, my mode of vlog. But before you continue on with the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe this video. If you feel like if this is something that you're interested in travel vlog moto vlog and uh, also click on the notification bell if you want to see more of my videos i upload videos every week and i will see you but for now i'm gonna bring you with me come on Okay, hi! We really just went out of the house and we are on our bikes. Tara na! So these are the boys. We just passed by the, the tank refill, gas refill. So it's so everything is ready and so we can ride going to where we're going. <laughs> okay, let's do this! Okay, kulbaan ako. Okay. Okay, so go on now, mga kauban. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're going. So, good morning, everybody. We are now on our way to Laget. And I hope this is recording because it would suck if it's not. And these are my, this is, that's my brother and his friends. Good luck, Nako, because they are like everyday riders. I mean, they drive so fast and I'm anxious because I have so I have to keep up. Uh, <laughs> I am nervous. And dito pa tayo sa Ming Lanilla, where we are from. It's gonna be traffic at this part because it's already morning and people are going to their offices. And I'm not sure why I'm on this lane. I'm normally on the right side of the street, just driving slow. But since I'm with people, I'm with, I'm with um, people who drive fast, so I have to keep up. And I'm nervous. Ah! Okay, so I have to stay in this lane. But I feel like I lang ko lang ano. I have to, I have to follow my pace, and I don't really need to to drive very fast, cause uh, that that is more accident prone if I drive fast and I try to keep up with this people that I'm with. Yun yun sinabi ko sa kapatid ko na ano baka maka baka they'll just find me very slow driving. Hindi nila ba enjoy yung trip because they're driving so slow because of me. So this is also what I've learned. Yung pa insert insert na ganito. What the fuck? Oh my god. Jazz. Yeah, yeah, ra. <laughs> Sorry na good. This the eh. Mas basa nila man ang ganoy. <laughs> Originally I just wanted my brother and me to 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 do this ride kay maulaw ko nahihiya ako pag may baka magkasama kasi nga I'm so slow 
and I don't want to like hold up the, the ride and they will find it not enjoyable because we're driving very slow but then so I guess I'd have to keep up and well well while I do that I also have to be mindful with my with the surroundings and the, the the vehicles around you what the fuck there's another truck in there <laughs> I'm not gonna go insert but yeah I'm inserting now <laughs> So it's like two hours from here, 75 kilometers, and I am already talking so much. My anxiety level right now is through the roof. Hindi nyo lang alam. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah, pa insert, insert. My goodness. And the traffic light just turned green, and I have to, to um, insert. What the, what the, what the. Uh. <laughs> There's a van behind me, I have to insert here. You know what? One thing I've learned, I never hated traffic this much because when I ride a motor, it's it's different from when you're riding a car. Because with cars, it's all right. I mean, your patience is long because you're bringing a, a, a big truck. But then if you're riding a motor and then it's traffic, it's like you you have that pressure in you to find every way for you to get or to insert yourself because you're only you're only carrying a small vehicle therefore it shouldn't be very hard for you to ride but then so like yeah may, may nag insert sa likod ko so i'm guessing they're like ang bagal bagal <laughs> bagal bagal naman na ito. arms go are super tensed again Ugh. I can't do that I can't go in between those two cars <laughs> even if I want to I I don't want to do that <laughs> I will just insert maybe here but Okay, somebody's inserting at my back. He's probably thinking I'm back! <laughs> okay, that guy too. <laughs> can you tell me, can you guys tell me if it's alright to be on this lane? Also, I feel like I just have to be always on this lane. I long. I cannot insert. Wala <laughs> kayo Helmet is really too big for me, and it is blocking my eyeglasses. Or like it's pushing my eyeglasses down. And if you can just imagine, my eyeglasses are now pressing my nose. Oh my god! I'm hundred percent sure my posture is so bad right now because of the helmet. It is so big. Okay, so go, 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 Power Ranger. Is that my brother? Okay, not my brother. <laughs> so, so noisy. We are in Karkar, <laughs> city of Karkar. Welcome to the heritage city of the south. Why is it heritage city of the south? Maybe because they still have those houses. What the hell is wrong with them? <laughs> what the hell? I really just got that on cam. It's a very long ride. I feel like I should not be talking a lot and just take a video, take a shot of 
the good things to see on the road <laughs> such as the views haba haba pa nang babihiin namin am I tired? <laughs> hindi pa naman still anxious <laughs> huh? breathe brittle babe <laughs> hindi na ako humihinga sobrang tense what the Driving is no fun if it's traffic. <laughs> yun talaga yun. Driving is not fun if it's traffic if there, or if there's a lot of cars. Pero I feel like some people enjoy when it's traffic. Hindi yun trip nila. Was okay if traffic. <laughs> Challenging. <laughs> Arv and Boar. Okay, so ito yata yung nangangaling aso kanina. Magpasensya, wala na mo sa sakyan eh. And I was just only following this um, gray car and then the counterflow then. So it was a right, it was a good opportunity for me to counterflow too. This is another opportunity to counterflow. Okay, going back to the lane. I'm learning guys, okay. Oh, provincia na! really suck at this counter flowing game uh. Uh, it's a stretch hi everybody good morning here is me and that's my motor and we are almost in the place we're going Masakit ang aking leeg. <laughs> Provincial views. That was me. That was... I'm thinking about what I should say about what happened. Happened. <laughs> uh, what can I say about what happened? What can I say about what happened? <laughs> Let me just take a moment and think about what happened. What really happened? I guess in this video, I should just I should just briefly say first about what happened. Uh, second is the lessons that I learned from that incident. Third would be tips on how to prevent that from happening. And four is advice for me uh, from somebody who actually had who actually had an accident already on the road from a beginner like me. So, eto na po. <laughs> So first, ano ba talaga nangyari? I was only driving 60 or 70, I think. It may look like the road is not very good. Pero okay naman yung surface papunta doon. It just looks like it's not. Kasi inilan siya siguro uh, on that day or days before. Okay naman na yung weather when we passed by. My brother was driving very fast before me. And so, I was a little bit confident na everything is going to be okay. And like, I was just following him. When I saw them, nung nakita ko na siya na nag-bounce na siya, and then yung friend Din niya. So in my head, I was already maybe like, siguro mga three or four meters away from them. 
Pero nang dahil lang nang dahil nga sa malakas or mabilis yung pagkatakbo ko ng motor, it was at the last second when I realized that I need to press the brakes. I then saw that there was a hole. When I saw them bounce, parang to me, oh shit. Yung ulo ko parang it did mini calculations in there na parang, what's gonna happen? If I don't brake right now, there's a possibility na lilipad ako kasi I won't be able to control my scooter. I believe that the vehicle will really fly kasi nga, hindi ko siya na-control, hindi ko siya na-brake or there's no stopping mechanism. So, pag hindi ko siya na-brake, I really believe na lilipad yung motor. When I decided to to press the brake. It was very late for me to do that. In fact, yung gulong ng, ng motor is pumunta pa on the other side. There really is a possibility na lilipad yung motor and there will be more damage. Not only to my scooter, but also to me. Yung damage na nangyara sa akin, eto lang naman po. So, eto siya. Eto, and I think naka mild spray na ko dito kasi hindi ko siya masyadong ma-move. And then, this one. <laughs> and so that's what happened. Uh, what what was the effect to me? I, I was thinking if kung lalaki ako, I would be able to control that because I will have the the strength to do it. And most of the time, guys are able to control those type of things. That's why most of the guys are driving motors or most of the motorcycle drivers are guys because they have the strength to control if in case those type of things or those type of accidents happen. It was a shock for me, so I wasn't able to control. I was able to press the brake and not do further damage with the motor by not letting it fly. So, yun yung nangyari. Hopefully, there was no car or bus in front of me or on the other road na kung if in case talagang lumipad ako and then nagland ako on the other side and then there was another car that's driving very fast and that would have been a disaster. But thankfully, hindi naman yun yung nangyari. Uh, so what happened, what I did, I stood up, I picked up some things, I was not able to pick up my camera, my SJ cam, I wasn't able to to bring my bike up. The people or my brother and his friends, they went to me, pumunta sila sa akin and they were asking me if I was okay. So I feel like that was parang overwhelming sa feeling na these people are going to you and, and, and wanting to know if you're okay. Um, I want to show them that I'm okay. Walang buto na lumabas. Yun lang yung pinaka-importante. Kasi pag may lumabas na buto, then that is going to be like, I won't drive for the next three months. I sat on the side of the road. Uh, eto na, nakita ko na yung kamay ko. Nagalos-galos na siya. And then yung, yung binti ko, yung tuhod ko, yung tuhod lang naman po yung na, na damage. Uh, and then they were asking me if I was okay, and then I said, I'm okay. I told my brother, no, I was just, I'm just really in shock, and my body is in shock, and then nanginginig ako, and then that was just it. And then he's like, are you sure? And then he's asking me if I'm still able to drive. I said, no, I'm not able to drive. At least I'm self-aware. <laughs> At least I'm not somebody who's like, I'm, I'm really gonna drive because nobody's gonna drive, and I'm okay, I'm not that. So yun yung sinabi ko sa kanya, I won't be able to drive, give me at least like, I don't know, three, two, three hours to to recoup, to to regroup my, my, my senses. Yun yung nangyari, um, after maybe siguro 15 minutes after washing the, the wound and then letting the, the shock pass through me, dumarecha kami to where we're going and that was it. Sorry, I had to uh, cut that from there because I didn't see it. There's no more day. There's no more light. Third is, what, what's my advice to people who are on the road, to people who are driving, especially to women like me who drives a scooter or a bicycle, bicycle, who drives a motorcycle. First tip I will have to say is, number one, it's, all, it's always a given. Be extra careful when you're on the road extra careful when you drive you can drive slow you can drive fast but not as fast as i don't know 100. i think 60 70 is fine as long as you're fully aware you're very much aware of the condition of the road na walang libak libak or lubak however you call it um second is this goes to all the women who drive a motorcycle uh we know 
obviously it's heavy it's a heavy thing and it's not an easy object to to control whenever an accident or any of those things that happen to me happen be sure that you're capable of controlling this type of thing because if not if if you're disabled or if you're not able to drive or if you have if you're in a situation where you're not able to drive then just please don't try to um because hindi po siya madali okay i know how to gauge your capability if you're able to control these things because hindi po siya madali that's why most of the guys are the ones who are handling these vehicles because they have strength that us women don't have. I'm not sure if my brother or the people in there saw what I did, but if I was not, if I did not, if I did not break or if I did not control the motor, I'm sure I would have fallen. <laughs> napakalayo yun yun yung mangyayari sa akin kung hindi ko na control yung motor ko 100% i'm sure so yan be mindful extra careful please have the strength and please be aware try to gauge what you're capable of and of course be sure that you know the rules on the road ang sabi nila kung naaksidente ka na daw mas okay pa daw yung pagda-drive mo Totoo po ba yun? <laughs> and hopefully, mas okay na yung pagda-drive ko. And wala nang accidents later on, hopefully. I learned my lesson. And I hope you also, if you are somebody who just had an accident or had an accident before, hopefully, hindi naman sobrang, hindi naman sobrang disaster. Hopefully, you learned your lesson and not do the same stupid thing again. <laughs> so yeah, that's just it. Uh, thank you for watching this video and hopefully you will see more of my videos later on because I will try to upload every week now and if you guys find this video helpful don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and also click on the little bit uh, notification bell so that you can also get notified every time I upload my new videos till next video till next time thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again next time goodbye